No, I was not born yesterday. But Nixon was re-elected. Helen Reddy was woman. Mikey was liking it. And Andre Gregory was predicting that by the year 2000, people would be paying to be castrated so they could feel something. <coughs> we lived on the Leech Lake Chippewa Reservation in northern Minnesota, where my mother made a living suing the federal government on behalf of the Ojibwe tribe. Then she found out the tribal government was extorting taxes from its own people, and she was fired. <laughs> but before we were exiled, it was a typical American childhood. Every day, my sociopathic adopted Vietnamese brother, Yo Bin Jacob Schneider, <laughs> would pick me up from Chippewa daycare. We'd step over all the drunken Indians on the sidewalk, and he'd teach me all the songs he learned at your center camp that day. His heavily accented recitations were an odd mixture of Vietnamese, Yiddish, and tribal Ojibwe. I think that's when I fell in love with dialects. <laughs> then we'd play war games. Now our war games were slightly more realistic than the war games other four to eight year olds were playing because my brother had lived in a real war. I would say something like, Bang, bang, Mr. Bad Man. I'm a man and dad You are yellow boot pig now! Oh. <clears throat> 20 years later, I was in a similar position protesting Daddy Bush's Gulf War, and a cop broke my right wrist. Snap! I couldn't write for the remainder of my freshman year of college, so I carried around a tape recorder. I fell in love with my microphone. It transforms ordinary humans into raving lunatics. I chase them across campus with it. Hey, where are you going? I'm late for class. Hey, how do you like that class? I don't like it. Hey, what do you think of America? I feel sorry for you. <laughs> America is culturally and intellectually bankrupt. You don't have your own food, you don't have your own language, you don't have your own culture, you have nothing. Wow, what a terrific accent. <laughs> Professor Trimelos, I've chosen a topic for my World Arts and Culture Senior Colloquium Thesis Project. Yes, American dialects. No. What? But what if dialects, residual phonemes, are the only archaeological dig the kids of America have? Eliza, we study third world countries here, like China and Africa. Africa is not a country. <laughs> so when it dawned on me that I was going to have to drop out of school in order to learn something, <laughs> I shaved my head, I dropped out of school, I quit my job on Beekman's World, I sued the cops for excessive use of force, just like mommy taught me to. <laughs> I bought an ambulance, and I set out to seek a truth I could not define. I hated my professors at UCLA. I hated my bosses at CBS. And I hated America for perpetuating hate. And no, at the time, I did not get the irony in that. <laughs> But I set out to interview everyone in America. I figured it'd take me about a month. <laughs> 10 years and 317,000 miles later, I'm still trying to figure out what happened. The following documentary, A True American Love Story, has been brought to you by a generous grant from the LAPD. <laughs> <laughs>